with Blue TV and we're here at the Dreamality Inc. Benefit Concert at BB King's and it's going to be amazing. and she's going to tell you a little bit more about Jamali. Could it be, be, be that you need, need, need a love that So I just want to hear from you. What made you decide to start such a wonderful organization? Well, music was a big part of my life growing up. Um, elementary, middle, and high school, I was blessed to have really great music teachers. And Dreamality Inc. was formed so we could bring music education, quality music programs to kids in underserved communities. And so far, we've served over 500 students. Talking about you miss the way we used to be. Could it be, 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 you still need, need, need? We really have high hopes that we have a vision to bring our programs, which are doing so well in New Jersey schools, to New York, because there's so many communities right in New York City that need help us. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Kelly. I'm Kelly. Nice to meet you guys. Gorgeous. Hey, my name's Kelly. I'm Bella. I'm Jira. I'm Taylor. I'm Jane. And we are the Jane. Oh my goodness, very young, uh, definitely like two, three, 
like, I mean, I can't remember that far, but I just hear stories, my parents, and I was really blessed because I had so many different um, genres of music introduced to me. My mom was really into, like, musical theater, so I had that side. My dad was, like, soul, Motown, Earth, Wind & Fire, Al Green, all that, and my grandma was, like, very jazz-oriented, so I kind of got a little taste of each flavor, and I feel extremely blessed to have experienced that because I feel like it shaped my music choices at, at this you know time. just rocked the house that was amazing with Thank you. with the sway and so I just want to ask you a little bit about what music has meant to you well I, I'm one of nine kids Andy Jenny Bobby Billy Betsy Tommy, Tommy Luffy, right. Kathy and uh, in our house growing up there was music in every room Tommy was playing the Ohio players and the Blackbirds and Betsy was listening to Cat Stevens and James Taylor and Bobby was listening to hard rock and roll so it all absorbed all my I had a band when I was you know in high school with my brother Billy And I want to paint it black Colors anymore I want them to This is why uh, Dream Malady is so important because you feel that at okay. a young age Well at Hilfiger when I was uh, president of Tommy Jeans a while ago. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, uh, we did a whole program with the New York City schools and I used to go to the schools in Harlem in the Bronx and teach the kids guitar. Nice. So when they told me about this, I was like, I know how to do it. That's what I did. But tonight, then they said, well, your band play. I'm like, definitely. Absolutely. Nice. Nice. You guys did a great, great yeah. job. I loved it. Um, that was my first time actually seeing you guys really? perform, so that was awesome. Cool. Yeah, so, um, I saw you. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. was great. Um, so Dreamality has a great mission, and I think that it is important that kids are introduced to music at a young definitely. age. Um, what do you think the arts promote in young kids? Well, from my experience, mm -hmm. it was like if I didn't feel like I was good in sports or got along with or was in the right clique, I used to go home and listen to records and play music, and it's always been my my life escape. Nice. Even, you know, I work in the apparel business mm -hmm. full time, but we do this on weekends, and and this is like this is like me going golfing, but right. I don't golf. Right. I, I play that. Right. Right. So, nice. Yeah. Right. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're for welcome. With us at
you a few questions um, just about like why you thought it was important to be a part of Dream Melody and what music has meant to you. I mean, Dream Melody is like, you know, it's one of those brands I see that they're giving like artists opportunities and different stuff like that to hear like different styles of music. I've heard country music, rock music, and now hip hop. Man, shout out to my man Quincy Rajini, you know what I mean? They're excellent performance by Rajini, by the way, yeah. and my man Quincy, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, like, I mean, I just appreciate them giving the artists the opportunity to express themselves, bring new music to the people, you know? Right. And music has been influenced in my life since I was, I think my mom probably played hip hop while I was in her stomach. <laughs> yeah. Okay, stepping out that Benz truck. Careful, girl, don't hurt your ankles. Me and you want lead jets. Taking trips out to Turk Caicos. Every day I'm on the road, and every day you down to Faithful. So tonight I'm breaking back, and after that we gonna break the bank roll. Nice, nice. And what trust. has music meant to you personally? Like, what has it done for your life? I know you're an artist, but what has it done to like transform you? What or or? get you to, to realize who you are as an artist? I think it's the same thing as like it does to the world. When you hear certain sounds, you, it gets you through the day. If you feel the pain, if you feel like being yourself and being free, it gets you in that mood, you know what I mean? It makes you feel happy, it makes you feel down, it brings out different emotions, you know? Nice, so, nice. At, yeah. at, at what age would you say that you fell in love with music or, or knew that you wanted to be an artist? Uh, well, knew that I wanted to be an artist 14, but fell in love with music. I was three. I was three rapping hip hop already. Nice. I was three like rapping. You know what I mean? Nice. Like, and, and who were some of your favorite artists? Um, now, I guess, you know, it would be like the guys like Pac, Biggie, Nas, Jay Z, Fab, Wayne, Eminem. You know what I mean? Those guys. Uh, I like what Drake's doing out here. I like J. Cole, Kendrick, and um, a couple other guys. You okay. know what I'm saying? But so yeah. you're a fan of hip hop. That's yeah. awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. And so, where and. Um, where do you see your career going? Like, where do you see you being able to to use your platform to um, influence? Oh well, I mean, I see myself like you know, a lot of people answer. They say they say they see themselves being large and stuff like that. But I just see myself having a, a good legacy out here because I'm down for the continuation of music. I'm not here, I'm not here to be in the moment or the, in the trends like the set trends. But I keep it moving. I'm here for longevity. Nice. So I like when people really enjoy and take the time to listen to me. Andy Hilfiger and I'm here supporting Dreamality. My band just played a set, so I'm all sweaty and rock and roll, but uh, music is, it's the escape. It's Music is heaven. Really. What's up, this your boy Ricky Graham. You're now tuning in to Blue TV. We'll get that new single. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. That is so awesome, you guys. Definitely support. This is a great foundation and we're so excited to be a part of the benefit. Thank you so much, that was awesome.